Welcome back to my channel, and I'm going to be telling you guys some fun quarantine art crafts um, to do while in quarantine. Um, so let's get started with this video. Like and subscribe. So the first craft I'm going to be making is a homemade crystal out of borax. What you'll need are powdered borax, scissors, um, pipe cleaners, the fuzzier the better, a little bit of screen spoon, and a pot big enough to have the amount you need. So yeah, I'm doing the color yellow. First thing I did was I used my pipe cleaner and made a shape of, of a star. It can be any shape you would like, but I would recommend you only using up to two pipe cleaners. Next step is boil three cups of water, and then um, once it's all boiled, add nine tablespoons of borax until it dissolves. I attach the string to the um, pencil, and I attached it to the pipe clean um, and then attached them both together. So yeah, so as it starts to boil, I'm gonna add um, nine tablespoons of borax into this and let it dissolve while mixing. I added all of the borax in and let it dissolve. So now I'm just gonna go in with this gel yellow food coloring and add it in only a couple drops and I'll come back to you when I'm done with it. I used this to pour the borax in and measure how much I needed. So it's fine if it's dirty cause it's gonna just dissolve anyway, it's, it's all right. So I dyed mine yellow and I'm gonna add this into there just until it fills up, not all the way, just to like right here or like in there. I'm so gonna yeah. take my little creation here and stick it in just like this and balance it in. And so it should all be underneath the solution and let it sit. So my next really fun art idea is to decorate phone cases. You can order some online for very cheap, um, just regular clear cases. And then if you have any stickers saved up, um, you can de decorate them with that. And yeah, that's my second one. Next art idea is to make your own um, friendship bracelets. like. See like the uh, four OSHA bracelets, like kind of the thread ones. Here, I'll show you. So I'm just using this um, friendship bracelet pack. We've had these for a long time and they're just kind of like the normal threads. That goes right there. But yeah, I've got like this whole pack of them. And I kind of got a little carried away. I made these bracelets that are exactly the same. They're like the, um, I don't know how you say them. They're thinner though, because there's got a thread. And then I made this one that twisted a lot. And then this one from like a, a cardboard thing. I think you've heard of this before. But yeah, and then this one, I tried to like make a three-way braid or something, but it didn't turn out as great. But yeah, that was my third idea. On to the next one. The fourth idea I had was to make a nice drawing for your family members because we haven't been seeing them at all. So yeah, make a nice drawing and use some of your artist skills. Sorry for the background noises, but this is the picture I'm drawing for my grandmother. She sent this picture to me and I just printed it off of the printer, just with regular printer paper and cut the edges out to where all the white is like gone from the outside edges. And then I just sketched it out and started putting in color and it's looking pretty good. I'm not done with all the, like the pink and everything, but yes. Um, so this is a great idea for you guys to do for your family and loved ones. Fifth and last idea I had was to make a beach bag just by using regular white fabric and sewing a plain bag together and um, decorating with paint or any other things you wanna make um, or use to make it um, just for like your flip flops or anything else you wanna do. And just plain white. They've got a little bit of specks of dots in them, but it's fine. And then I'm gonna use, this as the back. I'm using my serger just because I want the, not, the lines to be nice and clean. You can still use a sewing machine, which I've got down here. Just if you want, you don't, you don't have to use the serger. This is just my option. And do the same thing with the sewing machine as I do the serger. And then I've got all my supplies down here. Using this ruler just to measure out all of my lines. Or if you hear my sister in the background um, washing something. Um, so I cut out these two pieces for the front and the back. This is gonna be the back and this is the front to paint on. Um, so I did 
12 by 13 and the same thing on the side. And then I just cut, cut a 1.5 um, square in each corner for each one. So now I'm gonna sew it together, just um, sewing from here down in here and then on the bottom and place this on top, pretty side to pretty side. And then leave the opening and I will get back to you on that. So I'm just gonna pin this side, this side, and that side um, to sew around it. And the seam allowance will be, um, how about a half an inch? Sewed along here and here, and I left the gap right here open. So now I'm going to show you what to I do next. The corners and pulled them in and pinned them. And then I'm just gonna sew along here um, a half of an inch and I'll tell you guys what to do after finished that. I finished doing this part and now I'm going to sew up the edge to make it all nice. Back, but um, this is the finished version. You can add straps if you want, but I didn't. Um, this is the back. And in the front I'm just gonna draw like a flower or something with um, paint pens or just regular paint. That's all I have for today, guys. I hope you like it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.